Sometimes in life, you got to admit to murdering somebody in order to find the true murderer. One day, while out on a morning ride, Nicole never came back home. After filing a missing persons case and plenty of other tips, um, people were able to find her bike and a few days later find her bag. And unfortunately, about a week after her disappearance, they were able to find her body. Time went on and there were no leads. There were really no suspects. I mean, her stepbrother and her stepfather had been called in at one point, but you know, nothing really came about that. And so it wasn't until a little bit while later that something crazy happened. Her brother went on Facebook and admitted to murdering her. At that point, he was deported back to the Netherlands in order to be set for trial. So he's released about five days later and basically comes out and says, I actually didn't kill my sister. What I did this for was for attention to kind of give more attention to my sister's case and maybe get a DNA test done, which is what I've been fighting for to begin with. This whole time, he believes his stepfather actually killed his sister. Shockingly, his plan actually works and they actually do end up doing the DNA test and they find a certain DNA of an unknown person. They also match that to another DNA sample of somebody who had been raped prior in that same area and they bring in this guy. Now, due to the rules in that country, the face and the information of his name could no longer be released, but he was actually charged with manslaughter and rape. After bringing him into court, his girlfriend actually admitted that they had had a fight that day and he was not there and he hadn't been seen for two days around the time of this murder. Now, <clears throat> he claims to be insane. So they go to court and they all agree and he only gets charged with rape, not manslaughter because they said there wasn't enough evidence to really get him on the manslaughter case. So he gets five years. Now, this is appealed and sent back to trial. And at that point, they determined that, yes, he was the one that probably murdered her. And he ended up getting 12 years after the initial only five.